Well, I think we're good to go. So. Yeah, let's go. Damn, the frickin' fight. Okay, so last time we left off, we made it to the secret lab. Trying to reach like the basement fifth floor in order to stop Unitas and stop their plans. So yeah, we made it to only to like the basement's second floor, so we're still trying to like um go deep. So we need to like explore like two of those big old areas and Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Ow! He's asking we need her to sniff anything else out. Thanks, Growlithe, but we're going to check this floor out first. We'd like you and the others to wait here. Ow! Yes. It's quiet. Maybe even a little too quiet. You don't think it's a trap, do you? Probably. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no one even knows we're here. But we should still be prepared just in case. Pikachu and I will go ahead and scout things out. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Pikachu. Be careful, you two. Door. He says he'll wait here. We'll let you know we need your help. We haven't used Pangoro much. Hopefully there will be a case for that. Boro? That's right, Pangoro. You just right here. Be careful not to let Unita spot you. Lux. So keep watching here while we investigate. Thanks, Lux Rain. Let us know if anything happened. It's the elevator. The elevator stopped on B5. Ooh. Hmm. hmm? What is this place? <coughs> hmm. These machines are probably used for research. Sure, but what's that rock? No, no, let's take a look around. Oh. There are some papers here. Looks like they were written by someone in Unitas. Go ahead and read them, then. They seem to be documents about the ruins. Many meteors landed throughout the southern ruins in the past. A significant number of these meteorites still remain buried in the immediate vicinity of the ruins. Sounds like looking around in here might help us figure out what Unitas plant up to in the ruins. Yeah, probably. Let's investigate. Hmm. Okay, where should we start looking? You. If you have questions about anything you see here, just ask me. Getting help from others is nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. These papers look like lab results from analysis of the meteorites. The meteorites found at the ruins are made of an incredibly hard material that cannot be crushed or scratched. It is unlike any male heretofore discovered on this planet. Wow, they're really that hard? What were they brought here for? Hmm, what are these documents? There's a damage report and some photos of the facility's interior. According to this, the burst of Pokemon caused a lot of structural damage during the R incident. Some other areas have really deteriorated since then too. Guess that's what happens to a place when you stop paying the maintenance bill. Papers got some names with short comments under them. Successful at complete mission at the ruins. Exceeds expectations. Seems like a performance review for the union that's member we saw at the ruins. Huh. I guess in some ways they're just like any other company. Do you think this rock could be one of the mirrors we read about? Sure seems like it. They must have used his equipment to analyze it. Is this... Oh, I see something over there. Hmm. Looks like this file contains lab results from analysis of the meteorites. The mirrors found at the southern ruins are not only exceedingly hard, 
also contain incredibly pure energy. Those exhibiting any energy content of 87% or higher are to be delivered to be the lowest score for use. The meteorites discovered in Mewtwo's case are low in energy and cannot be used. So this meteorite contains energy. I guess it's more than just a normal rock. Hmm. Looks like there's nothing else to investigate here. Hey. Have you figured out why Unidas came to the ruins? I think so. It should be clear we pieced together all this evidence. Hmm. Unidas went to the ruins for a reason. Let's deduce their goal from the clues they found in this room. Hmm. Did we find any clues that could help us figure out Unidas' goal? Apparently, you just need an energy from mirrors. It seems like this is the best option. Okay. Yep. You suppose they could have gone there to look for an energy source? We read that the meteorites with high concentrations of energy were delivered downstairs for use. Yeah, never been stocks that lots of meteorites could be found around the ruins. Right. But I think Unidas was at the ruins to collect meteorites they could use as an energy source. That seems most likely. What the heck are they planning to do with that energy? I think that's about all we can be sure of at this point. Yeah, let's keep moving. Oh. There are a bunch of papers here. Here's a message from the research team to the operations team. Papers are from the management team to the operations team. They're all addressed to the same team. It means whoever this desk this is must be on the operations team. Here's what was that team's been up to. think there's anything else here yeah this is um pangoro's time to shine right now that looks like a dead end we can't go any farther with these containers in the way and we'll just have to move them let's go ask pangoro for help yo pangoro i need your help Goro? He's asking if we need his help. <clears throat> Please help us out, Pangoro. We're really counting on you. Goro! Yay, finally Pangoro gets something to do at least. <coughs> this one's a complicated mess. I'm doing one of them Zelda puzzles. The Good. Nice. Now there's a clear way through. Much obliged, Pangoro. Even though I put the block right to where I was before. No problem. There should be another big room past here. Let's go get Tim and the others. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pangoro cleared the way for us. Just a little farther to the stairs now. There's another map over there. Let's take a look. Looks like there's another storage room past here. Let's get through that. We'll be at the stairs. Still need the passcode though. I think I got a lead on that. I got that paper next to the map. Hmm? Let me see. There's passcode can be found in the standby room. Please return all controllers to the standby room. How's that for handy? Guess our next stop's the standby room. Lucky for us, it's on the other side of this next storage room. What do you think the controllers are? Not sure, but I am sure we're not gonna find the answer just standing here. 
Let's head for the standby room. Ow! Yeah, you can all wait right here. Oh, go! Figure out a way to handle this. Ray! Yeah, you can all wait right here. Looks Ray! Figure out a way to handle this. Goro! Yeah, you can all wait right here. Goro! Figure out a way to handle this. Dar? Yeah, you can all wait right here. Dar! We'll figure out a way to handle this. And he's literally saying the same thing to everyone. Yes. Four smash shows the staircase just up ahead. Great, now we just need to get there without being seen by Unitas. Mm -hmm. We'll be coming up on the stairs soon. Wait, Tim, there's something over there. <coughs> oh shoot, it's a dust nor. Uh oh. Oh. The dust nor. I keep on. It must be forcing it to keep watch. We should give it a wide berth. The poor thing being controlled. Is there anything we can do to help? That noise is not, uh, said something about controllers, right? Hmm. Yeah, I might have been talking about cube controllers. Hi, Vals. Nice to see you here. Welcome. Right, anyways. I know I said they're in the standby room. So we can rescue Dustin once we reach the standby room? I think so, yeah. We're headed there anyway to get the passcode to the stairs. Right, let's head for the standby room then without being spied by Dustnor. Oh, we're gonna have to do another stealth stealth segment. That's gonna be fun. It doesn't want to burn up for any tricks just because it's a ghost type. Say, where did it go? I say I burn up pointing trick just because of ghost type. Crap. Gotta retreat. Whew. Oh shoot. Still proceeding forward. No, I think I could have made that opportunity, but I didn't really want to risk it. down or is it gonna head head where it came from sure we're going okay hey, we made it should be safe here for now yeah and I'm sorry to find that pass going in the controller oh look it's a cube controller nice we can use it to make dust no stop patrolling yeah Oh, and the passcode is written down right here. Pa passcode is 2806, huh? Alright, that'll let us finally use the stairs. Okay, then let's head back to Dustnor. Uh-oh. Are we gonna do like a quick time event? No. Oh no, we're good. 
ignore. Thanks for stopping that weird feeling. No worries, pal. We got gotcha. you. Hey. Any special skills, does nor? Nor. Huh? What was that? Something about souls? Um, I think we're better off not asking Dustin or to elaborate. Nor. nor. Really don't know, eh? One day you were just suddenly here? That cube must have messed it up in its memory. I feel so bad for it. Nor. Sounds like Unity has been controlling Dustin for a real long time. Then forced to patrol this area by itself for ages. That must have been so lonely. Nor. All right, we can finally use the stairs. Yeah, I'll just punch in the passcode, which was, uh, 2806. Yes. All right, that's north, calm down. I think we're ready to head downstairs. Yeah, I'll enter the passcode. God damn it. Oh. The terminal where we input the passcode. Go ahead and enter that passcode we found. Two... Eight zero six. I almost forgot, but I quickly remembered. Nice, it's unlocked. Part of me through that passcode wasn't gonna work. Now we can get the B three. We'll say when we get there. We haven't forgotten to break anything on this floor, have we? No, I think we're fine. Let's head down. All right, we made it to B3. Now the floor closer to the one the mayor is supposed to visit. We need to be more careful than ever. Right, our first order of business should be figuring out how we're going to get downstairs. You know, floor map, there's one right here. I see. The stairs down to B4 are at the end of this hallway. The storage room past the stairs, too. What do you suppose these detainment rooms in the center are? Reminds me of the rooms at the police station. They're the same as the rooms at the station. Might be Pokemon being held there. Just hope there aren't any more Pokemon that are endearing with what Wooper went through. Definitely curious about those detainment rooms, but we should check out the stairs first. We shouldn't wander around and risk getting caught by Unitas. Right, stairs first. Let's go, Pikachu. Let's go, Eevee. <coughs> yes. Just a little bit farther to the bottom floor. What in the world is Papa planning to do with this facility? You really think he's connected to Unitas? If he is, we still don't know exactly what that connection is. True, but this is your dad we're talking about. Can't imagine him trying to do anything bad. Yeah, I like to believe that too. Girl! You're uncomfortable because this place reminds you of the police station? Yeah, I agree with you. This floor doesn't exactly have the most relaxing ambiance. Lux Ray. Wow, you seem real tense all of a sudden. What's up? Lux! This floor somehow feels worse than the other, so you want to, s to stay sharp? Thanks for the warning, Luxray. We'll be extra careful. No! Smell no, a familiar scent, but it's very faint. What are you smelling? No! Oh, it's too faint for you to identify. I wonder what it could be. Door. This place feels similar to where they kept you captive before you escaped to the ruins? Hmm, I hope there's nothing going on here. Uh-oh. I think we're better off not opening this door. Yeah. Could have Luxor peek in, but I don't know. Pikachu. Where in the world is that cramorant? I swear it ran off this <coughs> way. Why did it even swallow the controller in the first place? We can't stop that X drill without it. Oh, there's an X drill. We split up and searched. Good idea. I'll keep looking here while you check downstairs. Okay. I'll change the passcode to the stairs just in case. It's gonna be a pain in the neck. Well, she's gonna change go it. Without card keys. Ah, stop complaining. Come on, Houndoom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like the Pokemon going berserk in that room was an Excadrill. Yeah, and they can't stop it because Kramer has followed their controller. But we've got our own problem to deal with right now. It sounds like the Unitas dude who stayed on this floor doesn't have a car key for the elevator. 
The other one said she was going to change the passcode to the stairs. Are we stuck here then? How can we get downstairs? Don't give up now, Tim. For all we know, there's an extra card key in that room. Maybe. We gotta stop that extra drill first before we can sleuth around in here. Which means we need to find that crammer and get it to set up that controller. Find by that map we saw. There'll be another room up ahead. Let's start by checking there. Can you look for out of curiosity? Oh, well, we'll probably um, come back to that later. It looked like a storage room. It seemed like the only place Cramorant could have escaped to. Hey, Cramorant, where'd you go? Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh man, it's someone from Unitas. If you think it's going any further, we don't know where we're walking into. Let's go back and join the others for a minute. I see, thanks for catching us up. Pasco for the stairway has been changed. Getting car key for the elevator is gonna be tricky. We want to find a way to get downstairs. The only option left is to search the detainment rooms. To do that, we gotta stop Excadrill. Our only hope is to find Kramer before Unitas does and get the controller. If we do that, we'll be able to search inside those rooms. We'll be able to help Excadrill too. The question is, how do we find Kramer without getting caught by Unitas? Kramer is hiding. It might be hard for just the two of us to find it on our own. No! I appreciate the enthusiasm, Growlers. But we gotta emphasize stealth on this one. I means the Pokemon we should be asking is... Lux? Think you can help us out again, Lux Ray? Ray! Okay. Ew. Whoa, Excadrill's still on a rampage. I'll take a look into the room. Rampaging Excadrill has a cube-shaped device attached to its back. It appears to be the same as the one they put on us at the police station. So that's what's going on. Poor Excadrill, I feel it for you, buddy. Are you saying that humans are forcing Excadrill to act this way? No. Kamala has swallowed the controller. But at this point, Excadrill's completely out of control. That truly is a frightening device. I wonder if it settled down we can get the cube off of its back. <coughs> Drill! Uh, maybe we should keep our distance, actually. For now, let's look for Cramorant. Oh, there's more Pokemon over there. I see Polyrath. I see Corviknight. I see Hariyama. Didn't I see these earlier? Huh. Pretty sure I did. There it is. Hey, wait! Why are you flying away? I found the Cramorant! Oh, that's why. Unitas is after him. Hey! Taste that Cramorant! I will, but there's also a human in this storeroom. Better keep an eye on that person's movement so we can maneuver around them. Like for us, Cramorant seen a scattered feather behind him as he ran. If we follow those, we should be able to find him. Try to get us through there without being spotted by the human Lux Ray. Hmm, <laughs> just watch. Crap, there's no way.
I guess we're right now. Oh! This is going to go through. Are I hiding in one of these boxes? Aha! I see grammar in a box. Really? Which box? I saw you gulp down the Aurora drop, remember? Yeah, that's because you were being controlled. So anyway, tell me why you're being chased. Huh? What did you swallow? But, oh, oh. oh, seriously? <clears throat> Look at that. The controller. Don't you worry. I swear I'll get you out of this place. Okay. Hey. Now that we found Cramorant, let's head back to Tim. <coughs> right. And that device? Heal controller. We can use it to stop Excadrill. Good. Need to see Pokemon being controlled. Hey, so we're like gonna get out of here. Just stick with us, Cameron. We'll keep you away from Unitas. Whoa, you're gonna like escort me out of this building? Thanks, dude. Are we trying to get to B5 Pikachu? I'm not sure Cameron understands that. And we'll figure something out. <coughs> Tim, look, we found Cameron. Great. What about the controller? Got that too. Now we can stop Excadrill. Through the great detective form, Pikachu. You did a great job too, Luxray. Ray. Excadrill's in the room just ahead. Up ahead. We can't get close right now because it's going for search, but it should calm down if we use the controller to deactivate the cube. Why is the controller sticky? Actually, I don't want to know. This part right here is the switch, right? I'll try to get close to the room that Excadrill's in, then I'll press the switch to turn off the cube. Thanks, Tim. Once that's done, we need to search for a way to get down to the next floor. He acts like he doesn't know how it got sticky when Kramer's the one that's been swallowing it. Yes. Gotta hurry and help the exit drill. Poor thing's been stripped of his free will. I can't think of anything sadder. Me neither. Thanks to Pikachu, I got the controller now. So let's pick up the pace and do something with it. So Kramer swallowed the controller exit drill's cube. Yeah, thanks for the help earlier, Cramorant. Cram! I'd like to hear more what Cramorant has to say. Yeah, let's ask him some questions. Mm -hmm. Cramorant swallows all sorts of things whole, right? Cramorant! Uh-huh. Because everyone started chasing him after he swallowed some weird thing he didn't recognize. Ah, uh, that must have been extra drill's controller. I feel bad for Cramorant, but it turned out to be a lucky break for us. Hear that, Cramorant? Thanks to you that we got this controller we needed. Cram? It's fine, you don't understand what's going on, Cameron. The important thing is, you really helped us out. Bam! Doesn't sound very happy that you just laid all that praise on him. Cameron! Aw, you really miss Turner, don't you? Bam! Turner may be a jewel thief. Cameron, he's his precious partner. Well said, Tim. I really hope we can get Cameron out of here. Hey. After you swallowed the jewel and flew away from the dentist residence, what you do next? And why are you here now? Bam! No idea, huh? 
Guess you were under that cue's control the whole time. Ramoran! Woke up and found yourself in this building. Ramoran! Did he even here force you to cough up the duel? That's just messed up. Now that I think of it, Hanyan and Whimsicott were also acting strange around the town with the duel set. They must have had cubes controlling them too. Yeah, no doubt about that. Ramorant! He says he, like, totally hates the humans in this place. I mean, wouldn't you? They controlled him, chased him, and who knows what else. I really feel for the poor little guy. Ram! No! He says he's glad Cramorant's okay. Been worrying about Kremlin this whole time, Growlis? No! Yeah, I guess he is still like family to you, even after all that's happened. I'm sure he hasn't forgotten you either. After we're done here, you should tell him all about your adventures. No! <coughs> Dharma! Want to hurry and stop the Pokemon that's being controlled? I've got good news for you. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We need to help Exodus as soon as possible. Oro? Bingo! We'll use the controllers to Exodrill free. Goro Goro? Slow down there, Pangoro. I'm not so sure about that idea. What's Pangoro saying? He said we could stop Exodrill by grabbing it and pulling the cube thing off its back. I guess Pangoro is capable of that, but right now Exodrill is going totally berserk. Yeah, we don't want to throw Pangoro into danger, we can help it. You'll be our last resort, Pangoro. First, we're going to try the controller. Goro! Hey. Thanks for helping us find Kramlin earlier. Sucks. I hear ya. We're gonna go release Extra Drill ASAP. Luxray's expression always looks stoic, but he's actually really worried about Extra Drill, isn't he? Let me go save. Okay. Extra Drill's on the other side of this door. You got the controller ready, Tim? Yep. Okay, let's open the door. Can they just do this outside, or do they need to be like in within range. <coughs> what time is that? Up, it's coming right at us. I'm working on it. Stop. <gasps> okay. Oh, good. It looks like Excadrill, Excadrill settled down. Drill. Now you're free, Excadrill. Drill, drill, drill. I think we're gonna ask you some questions. Drill. That is willing to talk. Hey. And could drill are good at digging holes, right? Drill. He's pretty proud of that. Drill, drill. That is forms a single drill with its arms and head. Drilling its specialty. Doesn't it get dizzy when it drills? I'm worried about that too. Hey, extra drill. Do you even get ever get dizzy? Drill! Oof, it's just that don't be ridiculous. I guess pain just comes naturally to it. <coughs> hey. By the way, extra drill, what are you doing in this place? Drill! I see. Just like Dustnor. If someone brought it here against its will and used a cube to force it to keep watch. Great drill! Apparently, I tried to escape by drilling a hole in the wall, but things didn't go as planned. Keep on its back probably stopped it from moving freely. Treating Pokemon like this, it's just too cruel. What have the humans be here been like? Drill, drill! More mistreatment of Pokemon, huh? Drill! There are more captured Pokemon right here in these rooms. You can't just leave them like this. Yeah, let's set them free. Mm -hmm. So they were right about the detainment rooms. They're holding for Pokemon cap. They're for holding Pokemon captive. Wait, detainment rooms? Yeesh! We're back at the police station. Same scummy names and everything. Gotta figure out a way to rescue the Pokemon here. Yeah, we search the rooms. We'll probably come up with something. We need to investigate this room anyway. Yeah, we still need to find a card key. Right. Okay, let's get this investigation started, Tim. Yes. So glad next to the drill's alright. Yeah, I hate to think what could have happened to it if we hadn't shown up when we did. Seriously. Other Pokemon suffering in the same way. We gotta save them right away. Good. The store's locked. We can't free the Pokemon stuck in there till we find a key. The list of rules for the unit is patrol guards. Guards of patrol 4, B3, and groups of 2. The sliding doors to the Pokemon team rooms must be locked at all times. Each pair of guards will keep a single car key for the elevator. 
When a pair of guards is relieved, they are to pass the card key on to the next shift of guards. Pass codes of the stairs must be changed at the beginning of each shift. Security gear is tighter than it was on the last couple of floors. Sounds like the guards on patrol now are the only people who know the pass codes of the stairs. Don't doubt they'll share with us willingly either, no matter how nice that we ask. Mm -hmm. Here's a note from the operations team to the research team. It'll be important. Read it out, Tim. The containment rooms on floor B3 were intended to hold the Pokemon sent to by Mr. Butler. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, these Pokemon will not be joining us. As a result, the containment rooms on floor B3 are currently housing Pokemon that were not part of our original plan. Butler, eh? Must be talking about what happened back at the police station. There's a list here with dozens of Pokemon in it. Hmm. <clears throat> Looks like a list of all the Pokemon in this facility. Hmm. <clears throat> Some of these names are crossed out. Luxray, Lyperd, Impidim, Sableye, Hangoro. Those Pokemon were at the police station with me, so they were going to be sent here too. <coughs> there are other names too. Excadrill, Hariyama, Overnight, Polarath, Roop, Whooper. They're not crossed out, so they must have already been sent here. After that, there's some stuff about the cubes. The effects of the controller utilized by Mr. Butler are highly confidential. In the interest of maintaining this confidentiality, we destroyed the controller remotely to ensure the police were only able to collect the broken remains. See, that's why the controller broke the way it did. They wanted to keep the police in the dark. If there was any doubt of Unitas' involvement before this pretty much proves it. Yeah, but I still want to know more. Let's take a closer look. Let me see. So where should we start looking? Yeah, I see a key. Some sort of key. Could help us get into a locked room. Okay, we're finding locked rooms. Let's try it out. There's some internal orders within Unitas. There's water leaking from floor B3. The Merlot keeps its valuable research data on floor B4. It is imperative that this leak be repaired as quickly as possible. Sounds like Merlot does all this research on B4. I'm sure there's some useful information there, but we still don't know how to get down there. Just keep go ahead and keep looking, Tim. It's important to have a wide perspective when you're looking for something. Whenever you lost your toys as a kid, that's what you always did to find them. This looks like a business report written by someone in Unitas. <coughs> Mass production of the cues have been completed without incident. Our CEO, Mr. Howard Myers, gets to arrive on the last day of Pokemon Friendship before a final inspection. The cubes are ready to be shipped pending the completion of this final inspection. Mayor, Mayor Myers is their CEO. CEO means Chief Executive Officer, right? As in, the one who's calling all the shots? You're telling me he's the head honcho of this entire organization? But Papa's the one running Unitas? Can't possibly be true. Of all the things we could have learned about Howard, this is the worst possible one. Here's an experiment report about the cubes. Got a list of Pokemon that the cubes were tested on. Luxray, Lightbird, Impotent, Sableye, Pangoro. Those are some of the Pokemon that were being detained at the police station. The list goes on. Wooper, Dusnor, Excitril, Polyrath, Ariyama, Corvid Knight. Same Pokemon signed that other document. At this time, we lack sufficient data on Pokemon from various regions. Additional data from a greater diversity of species prior to fully optimized Kapata. We're still planning to collect even more Pokemon. Well. So did we find anything good info about Unitas? Yeah, I think we got enough info to make some deductions. Mm. I sure didn't expect to learn that Howard's in charge of all the Unitas. What exactly is he planning to do with this organization? I think I got an idea. Howard's been pursuing policies related to managing Pokemon, right? He must intend to use the cues for that. Yep, there's really no other explanation. Hmm. <coughs> I didn't want to believe it, but... Papa... 
Why are you part of this? Rachel. <sighs> must have been shocked to find out her dear old dad is the head of Unitas. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what to say to her. Probably just need some space to sink, Tim. I'm sure she'll recover from the shock in her own time. Let's focus on something else for now. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot about the, after the whole Howard reveal, but there's something else that's bothering me. Yeah? What's that? <coughs> that paper read earlier from that, that mentioned butler. Maybe we should focus on that. Butler was mainly catching Pokemon, wasn't he? Right. But why did Unitas want him to do that? One of Moses won over. Might put us in the right headspace to figure out what Howard's hoping to do. What do you think, Tim? So have you figured out why Unitas have been catching and detaining Pokemon? I don't think it has anything to do with funding. They might be doing that. No. Maybe they're catching Pokemon as a way of distributing the cubes. Huh? You mean they're releasing Pokemon back into the city with cubes on their backs? But the catch of Pokemon now they have been locked up here the whole time. Then I guess there's some other reason. Then I guess I'll go with this one. Okay. The Cube Experiment Resort said they needed data about Pokemon. So maybe they were collecting Pokemon to help them perfect the cubes they've been developing. That adds up. The list of Pokemon that got sent here matches the list of Pokemon they experimented on. They must have been testing the cubes out on all sorts of different Pokemon. Guess they wanted to make sure the cubes were compatible with every kind of Pokemon. If you spread work on even a single Pokemon species, the entire operation would be a bust. Developers must be must have been desperate to perfect the cubes by any means necessary. Are there any, any Pokemon that we haven't talked to yet? See what they have to say. There might be a clue somewhere that will help us find a way downstairs. Let's be as sorry as we can with this set of rooms. Yes. Papa, how could you do this? Rachel. Sorry, I'm good. Let's go. Okay. I wonder if the cube will open this door. Looks like it works. Let's check what's inside. It's a Hariyama. <coughs> Haria! Wow, Hariyama sure looks round up. No way, Hariyama. Don't even think about it. Huh? What did it say? It's been searching for a sumo opponent. Huh, yeah, I don't know if you're really suited for sumo. We don't really have time to find out either. Sorry, Hariyama. I'm, I'm sure you'll find a point eventually. Hari, Hari! Hurry up! Dad loves testing his strength by sumo wrestling. Ben Hariyama would get along really well with Dar and Manitan, but now it's not a great time for them to spar. Yeah, if something happened to Dar at this point, we'd be in real trouble. Hari, Hari! Sorry, Hariyama. I guess you win this round by default. Hari Hari! So you were brought here against your will too. I know that happened to a lot of Pokemon here, but I'm surprised they were able to subdue Hariyama. You're assuming Unit has played fair. Hari Hari! Apparently, the Grather was in the middle of a standoff with Polyrath. I see. Hari ya! Been stomping on the floor every day as part of his training, but at some point the floor started crackling. Oh, maybe that could be a good dick spot for Excadrill. Believe it or not. Ariyama, I'm pretty sure those cracks are all yours. Wow, it's really strong. I wonder if the cube we found will open this door. Looks like it worked. Let's check out what's inside. Ah! Hey, aren't you the Corviknight that stole my hat? Ah! You don't remember, but probably. Hey, no apology necessary. I know it wasn't your fault. You were probably being controlled by one of those cubes. Can you tell me a bit about that? Oh, you're such a good flyer that nothing in the sky can scare you, huh? Except for a certain Pokemon, Tinkaton. Eh, yeah, you're pretty terrifying when you're flying at someone head on. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Oh. 
Oh, uh, I guess that's kind of a sore subject, huh? I'm really not blaming you for anything. Sorry I kept bringing it up. Hey. Remember how they managed to bring you here? Oh! I see. Went to sleep one day, and when you woke up, you were in a place you didn't recognize. Oh! And that's when they started controlling you with the cube. Serious, Corbin and I, you didn't do anything wrong. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah, we're gonna show the world who's really at fault for all this. And then there's Polyrath. Rath! <coughs> it's a Polyrath. Doesn't look like being controlled right now. Hey, Polyrath, why are you in here? Rath, the Rath! It was kidnapped out of the blue, because it's a blue Pokemon, huh? And brought here. It really just wants to go back to its pond. Don't worry, we'll make sure you get home. Just sit tight for a bit, okay? Let's hear what Polyrath has to say. We might learn something useful. Rath! Unbeatable swimmer, huh? You sound pretty confident of that. Too bad it's got nowhere to swim here. No kidding. Gotta be pretty stressed. Ras! Holy Ras! Whoa, whoa! Why is it swinging its arms around like that? Oh, it's just showing its favorite swimming stroke. I know, bud. You can't wait to go back into get back in the water. Hey. I need to get in here. Ras! You and Hariyama reflect on each other when some human suddenly grabbed you. That must have been the PPB. Now that you should mention it. I'm pretty sure I've seen Polyrath and Hariyama fight in the city before. Rass! It looks pretty mad about something. It's upset because they don't give it enough water here. Just like with Wooper, poor Pokemon. Remember Roger, the guy behind the R incident? Guess what he's up to now. Yeah, I don't know what happened with Roger. Volunteer work. Guess he feels a little remorse. Looks like the floor has been weakened here. <coughs> Ooh, I can just barely see the floor below through these cracks. We have to remind to use a strength to one of these cracks and might be able to get down there, except we can't. And risk the whole floor caving in? I don't think so. Hmm, fair point. Remind to doesn't exactly have a light touch. Still, I think it's a good idea as a Pokemon for help here. I don't think there's anything else for them us to investigate in the entertainment room. We didn't find a passcode or a card key. We'll never get those standards this way. We'll have to think of another way. Mm. We need to get down on the next floor, but we can't take the stairs or use the elevator. We gotta think of a third option for getting down there. Let's brainstorm what we can do. I'm open to any ideas no matter how extreme they might be. Right, gotta be a way through. Well, I know. Hmm. Do you think of a way to get down on the next floor? We use Escadrill to drill through that hole on the ground. Okay. Maybe we could ask Escadrill to drill a hole through the floor. Ah, uh, yeah, I bet Escadrill could carve out a mean hole for us. If we take it to that section of the floor, how are you? I'm already damaged. Why, well, I could dig through that in no time flat. I'm sold. Let's hit up Escadrill for help. We need to ask Exegru to dig a hole through the floor for us. Yeah, let's go ask right now. <coughs> Anyways, that's the situation. Think you can help us, Exegru? Real! It says he's the least it can do. So glad it'll help. Hey, Ramorant! Give that controller back! Did you hear that voice? One of those unitic scrunks. They'll probably come in here too. We better hurry. You can start digging right away, Exegru? Drill! We'll go get everyone else. Thanks, Tim. Alright. Yeah. Wow, you dug that hole in no time. Drill! We really appreciate it, Excadrill. Thanks to you, we can finally get down to B4. What about Excadrill and the others, though? Oh yeah, good point. Excadrill, you should get out of here. Just keep heading up. With your skills, I'm sure you'll be able to escape this place. Drill! And sorry to stack on the favors, but please take the other Pokemon with you. Oh, and would you find Wooper, Dustnor, and any other from the upper floors too? Drill! Ram? 
Yeah, you go exit drill too, Cramorant. And don't let Unitas catch you this time. Cramorant! Drill! Thanks, Excadrill. Yeah, I hope we'll meet again someday. Okay, the rest of us should head down. Are you good to keep going, Rachel? Yeah, I've come this far after all. And I need to stop Papa. Whatever it takes. Right, just don't push yourself too hard. Thanks, Tim. Alright then, about time we gotta move on. We've got no idea what's waiting for us down there, so keep your eyes peeled. Come on, everyone, through the hole! They're gonna make it down safely. No! Door! I don't see anyone from Unitas here now. They must have all gone down to the bottom floor B5. Oh look! Floor map! Let's check it out! See some X's on the map. Okay, so the door on the right leads down a hallway, some stairs, and the door on the left leads to some storage rooms in the elevator. But look that we can't pass through the storage room. It says they're packed full of crates. And I guess we gotta use the stairs to get down to B5. Which means we just need to open that door on the right. But it says either we need a car key to open the doors on this floor. Car key inserted instead of a passcode this time. Here on this floor is the tightest yet. Yeah, it won't be easy, but we gotta find that car key. Now that I get a better look around, there sure are a lot of deaths on this floor. According to the map we saw on B1, this floor is used by the research team. Oh yeah, it said that on the orders we saw earlier too. It said that Murloc's research data was stored on this floor. Guess that room in the middle is Murloc's personal research lab. Might be able to learn more about Unis' research if we have a look around. True. Are you okay, Rachel? You're looking kind of pale. Oh, it's just knowing we might run into Papa soon is making me nervous. He's been leading Unitas this whole time. They're the ones conducting research with those cubes. What can I even say to him? What would help him to understand? This must be really tough for Rachel. Not sure exactly what you should say to your dad, but I do think you should be honest with him about how you feel. That's what's most important. Yeah, you could be right. Thanks, Tim. Lux! Goro! They said they're gonna go over there and keep watch. Thanks, that's a big help. <gasps> you felt it again? Yeah. <sighs> And it's stronger than before. But... Pikachu's consciousness feels like it's getting weaker. Uh-oh. <sighs> getting weaker. Hang on. You mean Pikachu could disappear entirely like Mewtwo said? That's right. Now that I got my memories back, I'm basically Harry and everything but appearance. But in the clearer my own consciousness becomes, the more Pikachu fades away. Bad. We can't just let Pikachu disappear. We gotta get your body back fast for both your sakes. Got that right. Hmm? What's this? What is it? There's something stuck to my foot. Let's see. Looks like some orders addressed to the operations team. Proceed immediately to Jessica Miller's location. Find her at the P3 in Bamboo Borough. Capture the sleeping man discovered in Mewtwo's cave. So the guy who attacked Jessica got his orders from here. But what's this about a sleeping man? Oh, I'm pretty sure they're talking about my body. Hey Pikachu, you think Dad's body is close? Yeah, they're feeling stronger here than on any of the other slopes floor so far. We might be down on the lowest floor of B5? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Anyway, let's keep investigating. Yes. Sorry about earlier. I thought I was more prepared for all this. Totally okay. Are you feeling a bit better now? Yeah, thanks to you, Tim. I just need to find Papa and talk to him. Must be a way to get down to floor B5. Let's look around. Yeah, I want to investigate some things on this floor too. Let's get to it then. I'm sure we'll find something. This must be a researcher's desk. No posted memos, eh? Sorry, whoever you are, but I'm talking about to look through all your stuff. This looks like a diary. I can't make heads or tails of any of the scientific jargon, though. Wait, look at this entry from last year. We received word from Mayor Myers that work has resumed at the Pokemon Unity Lab. They'll be counting, continuing endless research on mutual understanding between humans and Pokemon, both through speech and the direct sharing of consciousness. 
this successfully achieved, Rhyme City will become an even safer and more pleasant place to live. The new organization takes its name from Emma's final project, Unitis. I decided to join Unitis myself. This research will benefit countless people. As a researcher, I expect it to be very fulfilling work. Papa is the one who named this organization Unitis. This researcher seems really proud to be part of it. How can they find this work fulfilling when they're making Pokemon suffer? There's gotta be a side to the story we're not seeing. What's this document? Let me see. Whoa, look at the title. Investigation report of the Sleepy Man found in Mewtwo's cave. What? That's a report about my body. What does it say? I'll read it out. The green is back to the lab. He applied electric shots and other external stimuli in an attempt to wake him. No fail. Based on his condition, we believe the subject has been asleep for quite some time. Electro electrocardiogram and various blood tests and all return results within expected range for an adult human male. The only anomaly we observe in the subject is his brainwave, which can occasionally exhibit irregular behavior. However, these irregularities are not significant enough to warrant any great concern in constantly negatively affecting its body. Though the sleeping man is not consumed any food while under our observation, his muscle mass shows no signs of atrophy. Working hypothesis that the energy within his body maintaining his current condition. I guess that means your dad's just sleeping. He's still totally healthy? That's gotta be thanks to Mewtwo. Honestly, I'm just happy to hear I'm still alive. No worse for wear either, which is a huge relief. Plus, now we have confirmation that your body is here in this lab. I guess that feeling I had was right on the money. Yeah, all that's, all that's left is to find that body of yours. Like the management team posted some orders for the operations team. Go ahead and read them. Location, Bamboo Borough. Target, Jessica Miller. Objective, retrieve the thumb drive. This is about what happened in Bamboo Borough. It is imperative that the thumb drive is secured. This is a direct order from our CTO. Him, what is it? Why did you stop reading? It says here that you need to CTO is Mr. Murloc. What? That guy's the chief technology officer? So the mayor's the CEO and Murloc's the CEO. How did Murloc leave the organization together? But why? The map of Bamboo Bora attached to this document. They really put a lot of preparation to that attack on Jessica. Mm. Seems like Jessica was an important target for Unitas. Yeah, especially concerning the order came directly from Murloc, the CTO. Wonder what they were after her though. Mm. Unitas must have had a reason for going after Jessica. Yeah, but what exactly? Let's look for clues on this one and start deducing. Mm -hmm. There are a bunch of tools on this desk. Maybe they're used for building and fixing the cubes. A lot of different stuff. Let's take a closer look. Hmm. Screwdrivers, an oil can, a whole lot of other tools. There's even a blowtorch. Careful not to burn yourself. Mm -hmm. Here's a ticket submitted from the mansion. Look at from the research team. Door B4, issue with CTO's lab door. That is, car keys are recognized but the door will not open or close. Upon inspection, it appears that some of the door's gears are broken. We have removed the broken gears and requested urgent assistance. The lab door is not working? That's the one at the center of this floor, right? Yeah, sounds like the new parts haven't come in yet. Here are some instructions to the research team from CTO of Unitas. CTO, that's Unitas' chief technology officer. Looks like it was written in a hurry. Kind of hard to read, but I'll do my best. Pro cubes currently in operation are effective on nearly all Pokemon. However, they are not completely effective on rock type Pokemon. Cubes must be updated to address this flaw. It would be a simple task if were I to handle it myself, but I have other more pressing work to attend to. Research teams should consider this is most critical mission. Prioritize ref refining the effectiveness of control cubes at all costs. Give him it increases the strain the cubes inflict upon Pokemon's bodies. That's Unitas guy. Bamboo Bros control a rock type Pokemon no problem though. He must have upgraded the cubes. Can't believe they were using Pokemon like tools. Oh I know they make them suffer. Put the words right out of my mouth. <coughs> this must be a Unitas researcher's desk. There's a note here. From the research team, management team. Orders from the CTO. Obtain the data from Jessica Miller. 
Resident in Bamboo Borough. DTO, you are notified the operations team to carry out these orders immediately. DTO, huh? So these instructions are from the Chief Technology Officer. How do they think they can get away with treating people like this? Find more information. Goro! Yeah, someone from Unisys could show up here at any moment. You gotta proceed carefully. Goro! You're holding back just like you did at the police station? Goro! Thanks, Pangaro. You're a huge help! Yes, huge. Apparently, we need a car key to open this door. Well, we read that the other side of this door is blocked with too much stuff to get through anyway. Go, go! He's even more enthusiastic than Moran to Cramorant. Yeah, she wants to thank us for rescuing him, helping us out. Bella still considers Kramer an important part of her family. She's been wondering what happened to him this whole time. I guess her feelings haven't changed then, even after everything that's happened. Go, go! Aha, I get it, I get it. You're raring to go. That kid, can you keep watching and make sure no one you need to goons come down through this hole? It's really important, Growlithe. Can you handle it? And that's the gear we need to find. Hmm. There's a bunch of gears here, but there's also an open space in the middle. Seems to be missing some gears. I guess it's undergoing maintenance. Hmm. Door won't budge. No point in brooding around here. Let's ground somewhere else. Sucks. Tip and watch to make sure Unity doesn't find us, huh? Ray! Knowing the situation upstairs is definitely useful, but don't use. Doesn't use your special vision for so long and tire you out? Lux. Oh, okay then. Let us know if you see anything, but don't wear yourself out. Dar! Whoa, what's got you so woked up, Dharma we're gonna Manitan? Dharma! Manitan! Hmm, seeing Polyrath and the others brought back memories of what happened to you, huh? Dar, Dar! Yeah, what they're doing is definitely wrong. That's why we're here to stop them. Dar! What are these papers? The background looks like brainwaves or something. I think the report's about the cube experience. Look what it says here. Pokemon test subjects experienced extreme fatigue after the cubes were attacked. Irregular fluctuations in their brainwaves all were also observed. Negative effects of the cubes on the physical health of Pokemon seem rather significant. No. How could Papa allow this? You need to figure out what power is sinking. There's a voice recorder on the desk. Looks like there's a recorder on it too. Well, let's hear it. Want to try out the voice recorder they gave me? They're supposed to be for keeping research notes. Do you ever think recording casual conversation like this is okay? Why not? Not like anyone else is gonna listen to this. Ha! Ah, that's gonna age very poorly. By the way, remember when Mr. Myers stopped by recently? I hadn't seen him around here for a while. Then we had a meeting with Mr. Murloc. I let him know what they were discussing. Oh yeah? Well lucky for you, I sat in on that meeting to keep minutes. I heard what Mr. Myers had to say. You know there was something off about it. Oh? How so? Oh, like make the cubes, you know? So the mayor is putting his complete trust in him now. Is that... Is that good? Yes, but... Oh, the way Mr. Myers said it. He was like, you need the cubes so a disaster like an artist that can never happen again. He was seriously worked up. I think he's shouting in fact. The guess is understandable, considering he lost his wife, Emma, in the R incident. Yeah, I never met her, but I heard she was a truly gifted researcher. Same. Plus, the mayor's got a daughter. Just trying to keep her safe and make sure what happened to Emma doesn't happen to her, too. He literally said, I would do anything to protect my daughter. Family man, huh? Respect. Sure, but even so. Can't look on his face. Should have seen it. You know, I was legitimately terrified of him. Papa. Sound like a good father. All this stuff with the cubes is misguided. How are you doing, Rachel? I know this must be hard. I'm I'm fine. I just need to talk to my dad face to face. Looks like someone's in the middle of building a computer. Trying to put that um NVIDIA graphics card and Intel CPU. Trying to get that gaming rig set up. No, I'm joking. I don't see anything else unusual. Click clink. Hmm? Here's something just now, Tim? Huh? Oh, I didn't. 
Never mind then, I guess. I don't see Dad's body or Mary Myers around here. Damn, I want to investigate the room in the back, but the door isn't working. What do we do? Clink, click kicking. Wait, what was that? 32. That half assembled computer. Check it out, Tim. Clink, click, clink. Whoa, there's some kind of Pokemon inside the computer. What? I can't see it inside. Is it okay? Click, click. It says found the perfect little gap to wipe itself into and take a nap. Nap, huh? Sounds pretty relaxed. Surprising number of Pokemon seem to prefer tight spaces. Clink. I'm wondering if his partner has returned yet. Who's his partner? Clink, clink, clink. A researcher here, apparently. He must have gone to a different floor to do some work. Pokemon says he's been napping while he was waiting for his partner to return. Sorry, buddy. Your partner's not back yet. Clay, Clay. Why don't you go look for them then? Clay. Oh, I get it. You're stuck. Uh-oh. Is it okay? I think so. It doesn't sound like it's in any pain. Clay. Sounds sad, though. I can't just leave it like this. Guess we have a little help since we're headed here and all. Really wedge in there though. I don't think we can just yank it out. Probably need some sort of tool. Can we pass by have some tools on it? Let's go grab one of them. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I see. Ah, uh, there we go. That's the toolbox we're looking for. An oil can, summer screwdrivers, a blowtorch. Lots of options. Let's take them all with us and get that Pokemon and stuff from the computer. Another like an excellent mark. Well, Pokemon inside his computer is stuck. Lee, careful! If you keep trying so hard to get out, you could really hurt yourself. Play Lee. Well, Tim, think you use one of those tools to rescue this Pokemon? Think of something. You can't just leave it in there. Screwdriver makes the most sense. You could try to pry the Pokemon about out with a screwdriver. By sticking the screwdriver into the gap, you mean? I guess it could work. I'll give it a try. <clears throat> Clean. Mm, no luck. Really stuck in there. Which means we gotta do something to get it unstuck. An oil can. Maybe we can get help it with this oil can. Hey, yeah, you can use the oil to help it slide out. Clean. Clean. That's up in there. I'm gonna pour some oil in there. All right, should be a lot easier to slip out now. Well, we can get out now. Clean, clean. Yeah, it's a clean. I knew about it this whole time, but I just didn't want to say much for now. Ah, there was a clink inside. Big key. Thanks for getting you out of there. Heh, forgot about it. It was nothing. Anyway, sorry to jump right in, but might as well ask a few questions, Clink. Play Link. Play Link. Yeah, I can tell you like small and close spaces. That's why I was sleeping that computer in the first place. Clink. Apparently this wasn't the one I was saying. Clink gets itself stuck all the time. Looks to its partner, annoying us. <laughs> yeah, it still hasn't learned its lesson. Clay, Clay. Hey. You get along well with the humans in this place, Clink. Clay. Right, I know you're a good friends with your partner. Clay. Your partner hasn't seemed as happy since you two came here, huh? Worried because his partner seems really concerned about something. Maybe Clink's partner is having second thoughts about the development of the cubes. Clink's partner might not be a bad person then. Yeah, maybe not everyone in Unity says it's awful. Hey. You know where to find the card key that opens the doors. Clean? Clean says his partner is always carrying a tool that can open the doors. Is there another one like it somewhere else? Clean? Guess all the researchers here keep their card keys on them at all times. And it could be hard to get our hands on one. Right. I were able to help Clean. Yeah, I'm just relieved it's okay. Hmm. Hey, Tim. Just me or does it fit this thing look familiar? Hmm? That town by the middle door, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Let's over, head over there. Yeah, I was about to get to there right now. Hmm. How does it look, Tim? How big are the gears we're dealing with? Pretty sure Clink's the perfect size. Excellent. Wait here a sec. I'll go get Clink. Well, anyway, you think you can help us out, Clink? Clink, Clink. You're up for the job, then? Thanks, Clink. Okay, Clink. Do your thing. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it worked. Thanks, Clink. Now we can get inside. Clink. 
Oh, you're gonna go find your partner? Plainly? But you don't know where your partner is. Pray I can't help you with that one. Maybe try upstairs. You need this member search for crammer up there. Plink. You're heading upstairs. Go ahead and use that hole in the ceiling. Plink. No, no, you're the one who helped us. See you later, Clink. Hope Clink finds its partner. Yeah, me too. Okay, now we gotta investigate that room. Hope we can figure out what Murloc was researching. Yeah, let's go inside. Oh, we're inside his lab. Ooh. Find a lot of his secrets here. Mm -hmm. Here we are, Murloc's lab. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Where do we even start? No kidding. I don't know how we're gonna investigate all of this. There's bound to be really important info about Unitas in here. Yeah, hope we can find a car key too. Yes. Tim, about that voice recording you found earlier. Papa's trying really hard to protect me, isn't he? He's that way, yeah. But the way he's doing that is robbing Pokemon of their freedom. How does he not realize that would never make me happy? I have to say he's a failure as a father if he's actually make his daughter sad. Maybe he just decided that was the price he was willing to pay so long as he could protect her. I think all you can do is tell me exactly how you feel, Rachel. Yeah, you're right. It's beat him with feelings. He's looked like experiment reports. Yeesh, I can barely read the handwriting. And are they... There are sticky notes all over the place. Maybe we can read just the most important points. Mm -hmm. I need a more effective method of extracting energy from the meteorite. A tremendous amount of high purity energy is required to activate the aurora drop. Huh. More research material on the meteorites, like we found on floor B2. Based on my recent experiments, I was able to lay out a plan to achieve the final goal. All that remains is to order the operations team to collect a sufficient amount of meteorites. Those little spoons were ran into at the ruins were acting under Murloc's orders. But what's this final goal he's talking about? I can't tell from the documents. Yeah, I've been wondering that myself. Mm -hmm. Conduct an experiment in which I exposed the aurora drop to energy from the meteorites. It was a success. The aurora drop showed clear signs of activation. However, only a fragment of the whole was, was activated. I must trigger this activation through the entirety of the aurora drop. Doing so will necessitate more experiments. He wants to activate the aurora drop, because it really isn't just an ordinary jewel. Hmm. The energy of the meteorites and the aurora drop. Apparently he'll be able to activate the aurora drop if he keeps up his research on those two things. The report doesn't say what that means. What will happen the aurora drop is activated? What exactly is Marlock trying to accomplish with this research? That has to do with that final goal he wrote about. There's another room back there. Wait, huh? What is it, Tim? You see something? Are those photos of Dad and Pikachu? Uh-oh. Why is there a picture of you in there, Pikachu? I'm guessing it doesn't belong to an adoring fan. We'd better look into this. Hmm? Pepper wasn't on the map. Maybe Murloc wanted to keep it a secret. That seems likely. I want to get a good look around in there. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of different information scribbled on here. The handwriting is awful. This is going to be hard to decipher. Hard to tell exactly, but it looks like summaries of a few different things. Let's read each one carefully. Mm -hmm. This never looked like it was just scrawled in a hurry. Hurry. In order to promote the widespread use of cubes throughout the world, we must highlight the dangerous Pokemon post humans. News stories that reveal famous and popular Pokemon to actually be dangerous are especially effective at achieving this. For example, Detective Pikachu. Well, that explains a lot. I am pretty famous in Rhyme City. If news got out that I'd be destroyed that Slowpoke statue, people in the city would probably start feeling less safe. Right. We lead more and more people to believe the cubes are necessary. Good thing we were able to prove your innocence before that story made the news. You're telling me. Still, now I wonder. Is that the only reason they detained me? The writing over here is just a sloppy. Can you read it, Tim? Let's see. I have no concerns with using Butler. If anything goes wrong at the PPB, the responsibility will fall entirely on him. Butler. 
as in the former key for the Pokemon Protecting Burial. So Butler was working with Murloc as well, huh? There's some stuff written about you here, Pikachu. And judging by the handwriting, Murloc must have been pretty worked up when he wrote it. It's Project Detective Pikachu Phase 1. Meet the specimen in person and make sure it's vitals. Project Detective Pikachu Phase 2. Save the specimen from the PPB. Project Detective Pikachu 3 Phase 3. Extract the energy from the specimen. Receive the specimen. That's the first. I guess that's referring to when the PPB was detaining me. Is that why, you know, Murloc grabbed the fur from Pikachu and detained him? Maybe. Maybe this is, did something to me when I was being controlled by the cube and had no idea what was going on. I managed to stop them from delivering you to Unitis. Murloc's plan is still moving forward. Mm -hmm. but the stuff on the whiteboard is all about when you were detained at the police station. Yep, so it appears. Unitis had me arrested and make it look like Pokemon are dangerous. What did that part about extracting energy from you mean? Beats me. The papers we read earlier mentioned energy in Dad's body too. Murloc seems to be gathering energy from a variety of sources. What's he planning to do with it? There's a voice recorder. Seems to have more than one recording on it. What will we listen to first? There's a recording titled Research Arrangement. Let's hear it. Report subject, research arrangements. I informed Howard that I would like to resume Emma's final research project. It focused on coexistence with Pokemon, the Unitas project. I also pointed out that conducting such research would require a proper facility. Naturally, I suggested we name this new facility the Unitas Lab. <laughs> Howard was rather taken with that name. He accepted my proposal immediately. And with that, all obstacles to my research have been removed. Murloc was the one who suggested to Mayor Myers to restart Emma's research. He's been involved all this time and right with all this right from the start. Hey. Which recording you want to listen to? Hmm? There's a track title, Q Presentation. Let's hear it! Whew. Report subject, cube presentation. I gave my presentation about the cubes to Howard today. He seemed concerned about the strain they may put on Pokemon. But in the end, he understood that some side effects here and there are simply unavoidable. Now we can continue development without looking over our shoulders. Once production is going smoothly, I plan to move on to the project I've kept on the back burner until now. I often knew the side effects of Pokemon would face, but he still didn't stop the plan. No, but he was at least worried about them. Nothing else, that shows there's kindness in him. I don't know that the same can be said for Murloc. That recording painted a pretty clear picture of what kind of person he is. Hey. Which one do you want to listen to? Nothing else. I had a bad feeling about Murloc from this moment we met him, but I didn't realize he was this terrible. His research hurts Pokemon, but he's pushing forward with such enthusiasm. We have to stop him somehow. While we searched the whole room, we still haven't found that door pass code. What about the numbers on the whiteboard in that back room? They gotta be worth a shot at least. Two, three, one, two, two, one, seven, zero. I keep a note of that. Door's locked. Why don't you try to know the number you saw, Tim? Hmm. Remember the numbers from the whiteboard in the back room? Yeah, there were 200122 and 170608. You don't know which one's right, or if there are even passcodes at all. If there's no harm, try them out. Go for it, Tim. Hold up. Let me try the first passcode. 200122. That works! Perfect. That's it. Doors open. Now we can take a look around in the back room. The 
Snow must be Murlocs as well. Yeah, probably, but what's going on in here? Some high-tech equipment in here, along with a photo of you, Pikachu. This room's got a totally different fire from the others. Yeah, you said it. Let's take a good, thorough and look around, Tim. This looks like some equipment for conducting experiments. Seems like he was mixing two substances together. Can't tell what kind of experiment he was doing from this alone, huh? Yes. This room feels so different from the others. What kind of experience have he been doing in here? That's what we're here to find out. Definitely a picture of you, Pikachu. What the heck does all this mean? Let's take a look and see if there's anything else here. I see. Rolock is seriously starting to creep me out. Picture of me and Pikachu pulls it up in this room. What's up with that? Not to mention killing Dad's body and keeping it somewhere in this building. The fact that he's got these photos of me or Harry and Pikachu right next to each other. Pikachu wonder Murloc's already figured it out. Figured what out? That my consciousness is in Pikachu's body. No way. If not, then why is he being targeted? Why is he been targeting me so persistently? He barely read what's written there. Meteorite, Aurora Drop, Human. That's all I can make out. I like the energy from the mirror is pretty important. 200122 is 170608. Very the door pass still so prominently. Wondering more about the uh, number we haven't used yet. It could be also be a kind of passcode, but I can't say for sure. Maybe it's a passcode to another door, pretty much through the B5. Oh, crap. Let's say Murloc really has figured out your secret, Pikachu. Just what is he planning to do with you after he captured you? Gas is as good as mine. Let's head on B5 and look for my, I mean, Harry's body. I think I might help us figure all this, this all out. Got a weird feeling about this lab, Tim. Let's give it a thorough search. Right. Hmm. Okay, where should we start looking? Hmm? Document's titled Shutting Down the Fusion Machine. Oh, I see a voice recorder. Fusion Machine. What kind of machine is that? No idea. All it says is how to stop it. To shut down the machine in the event of an emergency, remove the power cable. That's it? Yeah, that's all it says. Searching for the messy writings, whoever died this death must have been in a hurry. More of a memo than a document, if you ask me. You think this voice worker also belongs to Murloc? Yeah, it might have some important information. Let's give it a listen after this. <laughs> this doctor was written by Mayor Myers. I know his coexistence plan from Rhyme City. It also says confidential. Looks like it contains a schedule for distributing the cubes throughout the city. It says that Mira will make an announcement about the cubes on the last day of Pokemon Friendship Week. It has settled it. A revolutionary device that's been making news lately is definitely the cubes. There's a draft of the speech in here too. I'll read it. Citizens of Rhyme City, I'm going to once again express my plan for our mutual home. I aim to foster a city which people and Pokemon can live together in peace and safety. Many of you, the R incident of two years ago was an unprecedented hardship. I assure you, no one knows that hardship better than I do. The Rhyme City will not stop moving forward. Testament to our commitment and mutual Pokemon to mutual coexistence with Pokemon, we have created a truly revolutionary device. So, on this last day of Pokemon Friendship Week, it's my honor to unveil, finally unveil to you the Friendship Cube. Papa, a frantic cube, he means a control cube, right? That's right. Try and distribute these cubes that can control Pokemon all over the city. And let him deliver that speech he's got planned. Some kind of experiment report. Read it to us, Tim. The experiment was a failure. Make two become one. Far for balance of energy is absolutely critical. A critical hit! Too much or too little will result in failure. Making it doesn't will be difficult but necessary. But I can do this. I know I can do this. Only I can make two become one. Two become one. Trying to fuse two things together? Proper balance of ants is absolutely critical. Either on this line is part of for emphasis. Hey. I don't see anything else I'm personally curious about. Mm. 
papers are completely covered in sloppily scribbled equations. They look, uh, complicated. Yeah, this all means absolutely nothing to me. Hey. Looks like there's nothing else to investigate here. Don't you think we should listen to this voice recorder? Definitely. Got three tracks on it. What do you want to hear? This one titled Research Data. Let's hear it. Sure thing. Report subject Research Data. Approximately six months prior to the R incident. I discovered a method of linking the minds of humans and Pokemon. This would make it possible to control Pokemon as we please. I'm certain this is the greatest discovery of the century. But it was not possible at that stage of my research to make my hypothesis a reality. More information was required. Since then, I've searched relentlessly for the missing piece of the puzzle. Until at last, I found it, in the research that Emma had previously conducted. She called my research dangerous, insisted that I stop, but that was no concern of mine. I took the first opportunity to scour the research facility, but by that point, Emma's data was nowhere to be found. Jessica did this. I will stop at nothing to find Jessica and retrieve the data she took. What? Yeah, Jessica targeted Emma's data stolen all so she, she could work on his new research. That's so awful. Hey. Which one do you want to listen to? Finding Jessica. One time of Finding Jessica. Go ahead and play it. Report subject. Finding Jessica. I had not expected Pikachu and his allies to show up in Bamboo Burrow. <clears throat> Nevertheless, we did manage to find Jessica and retrieve the research data. Now that the last piece of the puzzle is in my possession, my research is finally complete. With this data, I can conduct simulations of linking minds. Uh, pretty fierce. Huh? Simulations of linking minds? Let's pull it on my bad. All right, sorry. Whatever Murloc's goal is, I don't think it's good. Hey. There's one time to prove my hypothesis. Let's see what we can learn. Report subject, proving my hypothesis. I did it. I finally did it. To become one. That is the answer. To become one! Yeah. This is definitive proof that my hypothesis was correct! I wish I could have shown this to Emma and Jessica. The cubes are nothing more than toys now. <laughs> How sinister! Uh -huh. He's in my mom's reason for his own aunt. What is wrong with that man? I couldn't agree more. Morlock's trying to make something even worse than the cube. Yeah, we've got to stop him. Hey. Yeah, we're done here. Listening to those recordings, Morlock sounded unhinged. He was getting awfully excited by the thought of achieving whatever wild dream he has. According to him, these are just toys compared to whatever he's got cooking now. I wonder if the mayor's even aware of what Morlock's up to. That's a lot we still don't know, but at least we have a better idea why Jessica was targeted. Right. Let's take a moment to get all this information and make some deductions. Okay, let's start great. Alright. Hmm. No. I guess this makes a strong sense. Let's go with that. No? Mayor's plan was supposed to be confidential. Maybe they're trying to silence anyone who knew too much about it. But he's about to make a public announcement about distributing the cubes in his speech. Wouldn't it be really such a huge problem if people found out a little early? Hmm, good point. I'll try to consider another possibility. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Murloc needed the research data Jessica was holding on to. Jessica had Emma's research data, and that's why she was targeted. That be data is being used to research something other than the cubes. Got a bad feeling about this. You need to... No. Murloc is willing to do whatever it takes to pursue his research. We've got to do something. Hey, got a moment? What is it? I think we should organize our findings so far. Yeah, let's lay it out. Hmm. We have a line of info to pick over, but this much is clear. Three people are at the center of this mystery. Howard, Murloc, Emma. Those are those three are closely connected with Unitas. Yeah, but they each had different goals. Let's think a bit more about those three pokey these people. Hmm. Howard's trying to have cubes attached to the Pokemon around City. So he and I recording, I at least kinda of understand where he was coming from. He must protect Rachel and make sure something like the RSN never happens again. He's got good intentions, but his methods are way off the mark. Just have to convince him of that somehow. Hmm. Murloc is set on counting his research no matter what. Even went so far as stealing Emma's research so he could advance his own. We don't know exactly what he's first researching, but I think it's safe to assume it's nothing good. He says something about simulations of linking minds. I think the only way we're going to find out more about this is if we ask Murloc himself. Hmm. All of Emma's research was mutual understanding between humans and Pokemon. He seemed to be trying to create a society where humans and Pokemon could perfectly coexist. Sound like she had a good heart. Now, Murloc's using Emma's research data. Right. Data was so dangerous she tried to steal it away. Unitas we're seeing now is nothing like the Unitas project Emma was part of. Hmm. I think we've seen about all there is to see on this floor. When we could head down to the next floor, but we're not getting there without a card key. Right. And we even find one in the lab. There doesn't seem to be anywhere else to look. What should we do? But now let's head out and join the others. Maybe we'll cover something new. Okay. Oh, let me know, um, turn off the air conditioner and um, turn up. Dang it, it could be because of my jacket, but I don't know. Alright, well, anyways, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What is it? There's someone talking up above. Why is there a hole here? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Hey, sweet! They dropped their card key. Okay. Wow, way to go, Growlithe and Pangoro. Don't bust out the party hats yet. Someone from Unity is bound to show up any second now. According to the floor map, there are stairs on the other side of the door on the right. We need to get a move on, Tim. Right. Okay. Now we can finally get down to the bottom floor. Gotta open this door with the car key and... Wait, Tim, I hear something. Get back. Uh-oh. Huh? What do you think you're doing here? Whoa. Run for it! Hey, wait! Stop! Uh-oh. Why'd you stop? No! What'd you say? No, Growlithe, don't do this! Hey, Growlithe, what are you doing? What? Pikachu, Growlithe's buying us some time. 
No, Growlin. Don't do anything reckless. I'll come back for you, I swear. No. This is bad. Well, we managed to get away from Unitas thanks to Growlithe. Unfortunately, we can't go any farther. All those crates are blocking the way. We just gotta force our way through. Dar Dar? That's right. You're up, Darminitan. Dar! Okay, we made it through. We've still reached the elevator keep going straight this way. Uh -huh. This door won't open. We're running out of time. You can see those humans getting closer. Even I can't break a door like this. There's gotta be a way to open, open this door, right? Pikachu, what about that Nintendo Switchboard? Aha, we can probably put this door to open if we run an extra turn through the Switchboard. I guess that's my cue. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh no, they're coming! Let's go! Let's Ray, thank you. Come on, let's go! Gonna leave behind, right? Dude. No! Pikachu! No, Luxray! Sorry, Lux Ray. Let's go, Pikachu. Let's go, Eevee. Yeah, we'll come back for him and growl it when this is all over. Hang on until then, you two. Okay, at this point, all that's left is to take the elevator down to the bottom floor. It's all thank you that we made this far, Jeremiah Tank. We really appreciate it. No, thank you. It felt awesome getting help so, so, so much. I want to thank you too for giving me a chance to repay my debt to you. Hey, cut it out. You're acting like this is goodbye. You still got the bottom floor to deal with. For all we know, that'll be where things really get hairy. Right. True. Okay, everyone. Into the elevator we go. To stay behind too. Yeah, they are. Um, uh... Pikachu! Wait! You can't! Um, uh... No! You guys. <laughs> Pikachu. We finally made it. Yeah. And that means it's possible Mayor Myers is just I would think they're gonna get captured and be controlled. I just have this feeling. Murloc may have fooled my father, but we're about to prove what a crook he really is. That's right. Hey, hey! What about my body? Oh, don't you worry. We haven't forgotten. Oh, well. Okay, then. <laughs>
Hey, look! It's dad. It's dad. We finally found me. Well, well I made it to the bottom floor. Just hope everything going back upstairs is still okay. They'll be all right. We've seen how capable they are of fending for themselves. For now, let's focus on getting through to your dad. Right. Hmm. Here's someone up ahead. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Someone's humming. Hey, look up there. Is that who I think it is? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Marlock. He's here. That problem is Howard's here too. You know what to do, Tim. Yeah, I gotta convince the mayor to stop this plan they're working on. To do that, we need to expose Murloc and prove what he's really up to. Sure, but at this point, I was likely dead set on seeing his vision through. Even if you blow Murloc's plot wide open, that might not be enough to convince Howard to change his mind. You know, but we gotta try. Rachel and Howard. Pokemon Rhyme City. For you. Both of you. Thanks, Tim. Alright, let's do this. Yeah. I'm gonna take a break, so I'll be right back. So give me some time to like prepare and all that.
Okay, it's been like five minutes since I had to, um, you know, take a break, but I'm actually back. Now let's get through this. Yes. Papa, not here after all? No, I'm sure he's around. Let's ask Murloc. Okay, but be careful, Tim. Don't worry, Rachel. We can handle this. Great detective. Coffee note number three. Talking about coffee at a time like this. Suck? Drink some coffee. Solve the case? Drink some coffee. Just woke up, drink some coffee. God. Anyway, let's just go. Excellent, excellent. Just still being quiet. Mr. Murloc. Oh my, would you look at this? What might you all be doing here? Ah, yes. You must have been the cause of all that commotion earlier. I explain why my entire staff rushed upstairs. But the question of why you still here still stands. I would invite you to join in for front row seats to the shipment of the cubes. We let ourselves in, actually. We need to see the mayor. mayor. Hmm, I see. So tell us, Mr. Murloc. Where is... Wait, here he comes. Rachel? Papa? Looks like the whole cast is here. We need to prove Murloc's deception and put a stop to his scheme. Yeah, but where do we even start? <coughs> Tim Goodman? What are you doing here? I've been investigating a mysterious group. They're called Unitas. Investigating Unitas? Why are you doing that? Unitas has been causing some serious problems, Mayor Myers. Problems? What are you talking about? Papa, please listen! Mayor Myers, UNITAS is a dangerous organization. But all they do is conduct research into Pokémon. I created UNITAS for the benefit of Rhyme City. How could that be dangerous? On what basis do you make this claim? Nah, you need to didn't do that. Come on, think back. You know, I was trying to think that was also a logical choice. Yeah, I was gonna go with this one if I second option. At the Dennis residence. Yes, I did hear that the Aurora drop was stolen the day after the award ceremony. That's right, and Unitas was involved in that incident. Excuse me. And I also have evidence that the Aurora drop was brought here. How could that be? I'm sure that was just a few bad apples. No. You can't say the whole organization is dangerous just because of that. Actually, they've committed other crimes as well. And they even targeted us, too. This is the most possible. Yeah. Everywhere we went, we kept getting attacked by Unitas. 
I'm sure that was just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? They even went after me and Jessica! Rachel, you too? Yeah. How do you feel about this? Murloc, did you know about this? I don't think he's listening. He's, he's completely ignoring us. Please, Papa. You have to stop this. I can't do that. Not when human Pokemon coexistence is so close to being achieved. And the cubes are how you'll achieve that? Exactly. Pokemon can be dangerous at times, but the friendship cubes will solve that problem. Friendship cubes? Mayor Myers, those cubes are the problem. Do you have any idea how Pokemon have been harmed because of those cubes? Pokemon and Cedar were intact. Sure, look back. No. My choice is either the first one or the fourth one. Let's see if the first one is um excusable enough. No. Yeah, hey, wait. wait. Isn't that a bit off? Think about when the cubes were used to do bad stuff. And I'm gonna have to go with this. Yeah. The PPB incident. The case with Butler. I did hear about that. He was using one of those cubes to make a Pokemon commit crimes. He what? Why would he misuse the cubes that way? Because of that, my Pikachu was wrongfully arrested. I nearly lost a member of my family because of those cubes. You've helped me understand how the friendship cubes could be dangerous. If they're misused, which is not enough of a reason to stop this operation. Papa! With the friendship cubes, humans and Pokémon can finally understand one another. Mayor Myers, can't you see you're being deceived? Hmm? What do you mean? Oh no. No. This one makes the most sense. If not, then I have to go with this one. Damn it! Do the cubes really do that? Remember what I was like back at the police station? Yes. These the answers are so vague. In truth. Is to deprive Pokemon of their free will and force them to do what humans want. I was told the friendship cubes were revolutionary devices that would allow humans and Pokemon to live in harmony. Mayor Myers, you've been deceived this whole time by the name Friendship Cube. They're actually called Control Cubes. Please, you have to stop this before it's too late. No, never. Even if it's all true, this was Emma's dream. You know this wasn't Mama's dream. Rachel. Papa, don't you remember? When I was little and got lost in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa ring saved me. I was afraid and crying, and since it was worried for my safety, the Ursa Ring chose to rescue me. All Pokémon have free will and can think for themselves. But you're trying to impose your will onto theirs. Do you really believe that's right? How can you claim to coexist with Pokémon if you take away their free will? 
Papa, is that really the future you want for Rhyme City? Because Mama's dream for people and Pokemon was nothing like this. And if she knew, if Mama saw this, you just can't do this, Papa! Rachel, I didn't realize what the friendship cubes were really doing. I see now that I was wrong. I'm sorry, Rachel. I nearly made a terrible mistake that couldn't have been undone. As much as I'd like to, we can't wrap this up just yet. There's one last problem to take care of. Yes. Who took advantage of my plan? Who could have done these things? If there's only one person it could have been. It's time to expose the one pulling the strings, Tim. Yeah. Full print? No. It's Murloc. The one behind this? Mr. Murloc! You're the culprit! Uh, will you shut up? I have to say, I'm incredibly disappointed in you, Mayor Myers. You know you're playing right into Pokemon's hands, don't you? Rhyme City's a lost cause if you can't even protect your only daughter. What did you say? Go. Murloc! You were deceiving me? Your role in this has come to an end, Mayor. As for the great detective duo, I knew you were good, but even I'm impressed you made it all the way here. Mr. Murloc, those cubes will never be used again. Give up already. <laughs> you really think I care about that plan? It was nothing more than a means to an end. Behold! This is the masterpiece that I've truly been creating! You mean, this has nothing to do with the cubes? We saw the meteorite and the aurora drop in the lab. Being used for this machine. Does this have something to do with my dad and Pikachu? Excuse me? You dared to snoop through my research? Common rabble like you wouldn't understand it anyway. Explaining it would be pointless. Just pay attention. Pay attention? I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. That's not good. I knew they were controlled! Yes, you're alright! <gasps> no, no, no way, Pikachu! You. Huh? What do you think you're doing? But why, Pangoro? Tim, look. Yeah, I knew that from the course, from a mile away. why I've done all this. I'm about to realize my dream. My dream of becoming a Pokemon. You want to become a Pokemon? Yes. Yes, I do. To achieve that, I needed this.
Not the freaking Aurora Drop. I believe you may recognize this. The Aurora Drop? What are you... What are you gonna do with that? Easy. Deoxys? He's gonna become a Deoxys? Oh, it worked. A Pokemon? Wait, hold on a minute. What Professor Gordon said about the Pokemon from space? <laughs> This can't be happening. And to think, I was complicit in this madman's plan. Oh, the best is yet to come. Uh-oh. Pikachu! Murloc! Let him go! Oh, I've come too far to stop now. The sleeping man. And Detective Pikachu both brought me the energy I need. These two energies come together as one. All of my research, all of my dreams, will finally become reality! Uh-oh. Understand Pokemon is for them to become Pokemon themselves. A union of human and Pokemon. This is the true meaning of coexistence! He destroyed it. What an idiot.
I think it's time for me to enjoy the outside world. Wait! I'll be seeing you. This is not good. Gotta do something. But first, I need to help Pikachu. <clears throat> What's that? <gasps> what the heck? <clears throat> What's happening? <clears throat> oh, it's Mewtwo. Peter, help. I cannot imagine why, but I sense a human's presence within that Pokémon. Tell me, what has happened? That guy used the energy in Dad and Pikachu to become... Deoxys! Is that so? <coughs> Not only has he misused my energy, he is using a Pokémon for his... Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. He just got some moves at least. Or either one of them wins. We need to get somewhere safe. Elevator? That's it! Rachel, Mr. Myers, take shelter in the elevator. But, Tim... I'll save Pikachu. Okay, Growlithe and the others might be hurt. I'll take care of them. Come on, Papa, let's go! Right. Tim, you be careful. I will. Now and the others will be safe with Rachel. I've got to focus on saving Pikachu. I'm coming, Pikachu. It's Murloc's body. He looks like he's just sleeping. But he's actually been infused with a Pokemon just like Dad. Pikachu inside the pod, but I can't get it open. Can you hear me, Pikachu? Yes, I can hear you. You don't have to shout. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, more or less, but this thing won't open up. Can you get me out of here? Won't open from this side either. Must be locked. You don't see a Pasco term around here by chance, do you? I'll take a look. Thanks, Tim. Pretty sure the paw will open when I input the passcode here. We saw two numbers written out in Murloc's lab. 200122-170608. Maybe we need to use the second one. One of these ought to open this. There we go. Pikachu! Was a test, but looks like both me and Pikachu are okay. What a relief! I gotta say, looks like the party's in full swing. Believe it or not, it's Murloc. Yeah, I know. Looks like he's become a Pokemon. We have to stop him somehow. I can't imagine Mewtwo losing. But we humans caused this mess. We're the ones who've got to clean it up. Yeah. What about your body? I look safe enough in there. Anyway, 
Let's hurry. You okay? Yeah. This is bad. Oof, I'm feeling kind of wobbly. Must be all that energy drained out of me. Oh no, what about the original Pikachu consciousness? Hey, don't look so down. Everything will be fine once we take care of things here. Besides, we got a Mewtwo right over there. Yeah. So all we gotta do is stop Murloc. But how? I guess it's as good as mine. All I know is we gotta do whatever we can. Right. Break Detective tip number 48. How many tips are there? Never, ever give up. That's the spirit, Tim. First, let's stop this machine. Murloc used the machine to fuse himself with Deoxys. To stop the energy Murloc extracted from being supplied to the machine, we might be able to re reverse this fusion. Okay, so how do we do that? What are you asking me for? I don't know how to stop this thing. But in this situation, I think the simplest thing to do is cut the power. Come on, Tim. This one? There it is. Dad's body. Murloc used it just now to extract the energy he needed. Hold on, Dad. When all this is over, I'll save you. I swear. This one. This must be the power supply for the fusion machine. How can we stop this thing? Sorry, Tim. This is way beyond me. I thought you knew a lot about electricity. Hey, electricity is one thing. Why would I know anything about a specialized piece of equipment like this? Let's just fit around with it and see what works. I don't know if we can do anything else. Maybe we'll learn something useful if you start pressing random buttons. Mine doesn't explore or something if I press the wrong one. I'm pretty sure that won't happen. It doesn't make sense to rig a machine that's important with explosives. There's no time. I'm just gonna go for it. While you're pushing buttons, Tim, try to deduce how to cut off the power of the machine. didn't cut off the power. It's part of specific order you gotta do this in. Maybe I have to do this with the blue? I'll try that. Ah! Alright, all the switches are off. Look, then I shut down the power supply. Good job, Tim. I'm not so sure. Cleaning the power doesn't seem to be reversing the fusion at all. Darn, back to the drawing board. I think we gotta, I'm saying we gotta fiddle with the fusion machine itself. It's not like I got any better ideas. Come on, Pikachu, do the fusion machine. This is the fusion machine. It looks even more complicated than the power supply. Yeah, but we still gotta stop it. I think those glowing bits are the energy Murloc used for a fusion. Maybe we remove those little capsules. How do we move those capsules from the machine? I know we saw something in Murloc's lab about some emergency procedures. God, this is the worst possible time to forget. I know it's not the approach that detectives should take, but I think trial and error is our only option here. I'll see what I can do. If I push this button, huh? Capsule's still locked in. We must have gotten the order wrong. Try messing with something else. It didn't work. I pushed the button, but nothing's happening. There must be some other way to work this thing. Try poking around somewhere else. Do you think we could pull that cable out? Yeah, we disconnected it. The main machine's still running. There's gotta be an order doing this. Try poking around some more. I have to put this button. Nice guess. I think that just released the lock. How about this button? I think you got it right. Looks like that released the lock.
And then the energy capsules. Yes, I got them from the machine. Well done, Tim. Yes. All right, I got it. Way to go, Tim. Okay. The man can remove both energy capsules from the machine. Let's see if it did anything. Ugh. Let's see if it did anything to Murloc. It didn't work. Nothing's changing. Maybe removing the excess energy didn't do anything because they're already fused together. Think, Tim. There has to be another way. Wait a minute. A bolt of brilliance time? Murloc wrote about the energy in that report of his we uncovered. That's right. What exactly did Murloc use that energy for again? This one? Yeah. That's it. If Murloc used that energy to fuse himself with Deoxys, then maybe that's the key to separating them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you going on about? Murloc and Deoxys are fused together because of that energy. According to the report, the balance of that energy is crucial. Oh, so we just gotta disrupt that balance. Yeah, but... How do we do that? I don't know why I'm like doing that. I don't know why I'm looking through it. I'm just curious. No. Hmm. This? Yeah. If we can somehow expose the access to these two energies, that excess energy will throw off the balance. But, how do we do that? Once we figure that out, we can get back at him for throwing me into that pod. Deoxys flying around, the busted fuse Here comes. And then there's me, the great detective Pikachu. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Aha! I think I've got it! A bolt of brilliance! Oh my god. I'll jump up from the top of this machine and hit Deoxys with the energy. Oh, how very thoughtful. Really, Coffee? Oh my god. Yeah. Time to close this case. <sighs> okay. Such a random moment, but okay. <laughs> Take the elevator. I should be able to get over there. Okay, and I'm over, Tim. Yeah. There. Mm. Looks like we're ready to go. So, hit it. <laughs> we're gonna do a quick time event. Deoxys in midair with two capsules of energy? You can't do that. Only I can do this. Yeah, I know. It's just, isn't there another way? Come on. Who do you think I am, Tim? In all my cases, I've never given up. I'm the great detective Harry Goodman. We've gathered all the evidence we need. 
Now all we gotta do is use it to pin down the culprit. Please be careful. Just leave this to me. Wait, what are they doing? If we unleash those moves, this place will explode! I've got to hurry. Okay, it's time. Okay, let's get this done. Just need our body to hold out for me. Oh, he's using electric moves. He's running around like Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow, that's all you had to do? It's him! He's back! Dad! Tim! Hey! Sorry I kept you waiting Dad! so long. I, 
<laughs> oh my god, Jesus. yay! You're gonna break my ribs. I'm so glad you're okay. Pikachu, too. Yeah, little guy's sound asleep. He really did a great job back there. Yeah, that was me, you know. Half you, maybe. <laughs> That's fair. Come on, everyone's waiting. Let's go home. Yeah. Well, that was it. We did it. We got Harry's back. We got his whole consciousness into his real body. Woo! Alright, well, I think like that's pretty much the end of the story. So, yeah, we did it. We finally got Dad back! But now I guess we can just enjoy the credits and just let it play out or something. I don't know if there's like any more coming up, but like we'll just see this till the end. You look at him, they're working out. I saved the rest of this for tomorrow because like if I continue any longer I probably would have been like you know probably been done in like I don't know five or something like I wouldn't have much time so I so I'm just gonna save the rest of the finale for next day and then I'll just be done with it for good but like I because I, like I just wouldn't know how much is left in the story so I just figure I may as well like save it for tomorrow and hopefully spend Hour long until I'm done, so yeah. Like about like what 18 hours to play through the story? Maybe like 20. I spent a little longer, but and yeah, there's Murloc and Dale, he deserves it. But like yeah, the game like taking about like you know 18 hours through the whole story.
I think we're approaching the end of the credits. Live happily ever after. The end. Hooray. We got dad back. Got the whole family together. Oh my god, so brown his face cam. He's whatever. I don't know. You get bored really fast. What's that got to do with it? Sophia, you're still young, and detective work is dangerous. Aww. Go on, Harry. Tell her what it's like. Uh, Sophia, the thing about being a detective is... I could take your calls! Oh, maybe. Harry! Uh. Oh god, I'm fucked by a frickin' police car. You Pikachu. You did it! If we load the, um, the saves, that will probably, um... Sorry, jump mode. And I never really bothered getting everything else completed, like the... Like, I never bothered finding the cutie fly for the Rebombi, and I don't know if there were, like, any other, um... Other side quests to do on there, but I'm probably not gonna bother for now. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop right there, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry about the light in the background. Wow, it's like bright and all that. But anyways, if you're new, feel free to follow. I'll be playing whatever's coming up next and all that. So sit tight until we get more games coming up. I know there's like Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Bros. Wonder coming next Friday. Not this Friday, by the way. So still got to wait a while for that. But we'll see whatever else I could just shove in for the stream until then so we'll see about that but um yeah anyways thanks for watching i'll see y'all next time later